I can spot a French tourist very easily. Some behaviors don't sit very well with me. And after being a little bit more Americanized for the past years, I arrived to the conclusion, and this is just my opinion, that some behaviors are unintentionally offensive. Let me emphasize that those behaviors are not based on bad intentions. But cultural differences exist and what is accepted and perfectly normal in one culture may not be in the other one. If you are planning to visit New York City, hopefully this video will prevent some misunderstanding and prepare it a bit more your stay. Again, maybe it's not necessarily a French thing, but more a tourist thing. Anyway, it could be useful. So let me go into the details after a short introduction. Hello everyone, this is Margot. I'm a French individual living abroad. If you are interested in cross-cultural stories, this channel is perfect for you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. The first clue to spot a French group, or at least a non-American one, is the way people are staring to their environment. It's a very French thing to sit at an outdoor cafe, have a drink, and look at the crowd around and comment. This has no bad intention. This is a pure French way to start a conversation on an outfit we like, dislike, etc. In America, it's a big no-no. Staring makes people uncomfortable and at a certain level can even become a harassment. People talking at a very low voice or, at the contrary, loudly commenting on the people around are all the clues. And I've already been in a fight with a French person who was loudly commenting and judging a person's size in French. Be aware that the French community is huge in New York, that a lot of New Yorkers are multilingual, if not most of them. And remember that commenting can be considered as bullying at a certain level, especially on sensitive topics. French people are very concerned about their silhouette, as I mentioned in previous videos. And they have no clue it can be so hurtful to make comment on a body image or a body shape. Last but not least, and this is not only a French thing, but more of a tourist thing. Some of them are proceeding on the street with little consideration for their environment. They're on vacation, they stop right in the middle of the street or middle of a staircase to check their phone. I mean, New York is a high-speed, busy city with busy people. So if you need some time to figure out directions or enjoy the location you are in, please, please, please make sure to step aside and check regularly on your surroundings. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Next episode, I will share from my American life experience how my beauty goals changed. Stay tuned. A bientôt. Bye.